Step right up to 1,932 Seconds Freaks, a film that challenged norms and left an indelible mark on cinema. Did you know that some of the lesser known facts about this movie are as intriguing as the storyline itself? For instance, the cast was predominantly made up of individuals with real-life physical anomalies, bringing an authenticity that was rarely seen in that era's Hollywood. One can't help but marvel at the performance of Harry Earls, whose portrayal as Hans remains a standout. His magnetic presence on screen lent depth and empathy to the narrative, making him a favorite among classic Hollywood actors in this movie. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Freaks? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your insights and let's unravel the tapestry of connections this film has created over time. Freaks, directed by Todd Browning in 1932, remains an enigmatic yet impactful piece of cinema. The film revolves around a tight-knit community of sideshow performers, celebrating their humanity amidst societal prejudices. It unfolds through the lens of Cleopatra, a trapeze artist who manipulates hands, a dwarf performer, for his inheritance. As the plot thickens, the freaks rally together, showcasing solidarity and their unwavering loyalty. What distinguishes this film is its portrayal of marginalized characters with dignity and empathy, challenging societal norms of beauty and normalcy. The movie's cast comprised actual carnival performers, adding an authentic dimension to their roles. The characters, from the charismatic Prince Randian to the endearing Siamese twins Daisy and Violet Hilton, embodied a sense of resilience and camaraderie, transcending their physical differences. Browning's directorial style juxtaposed the eerie ambience of the carnival with moments of genuine tenderness, evoking both fascination and discomfort in its audience. Despite initial controversy, and commercial failure, Freaks later gained recognition for its unconventional narrative and bold portrayal of marginalized individuals. While its impact was initially limited, the film eventually found a place in cult cinema, influencing later works and sparking discussions on representation, empathy, and societal acceptance. In essence, Freaks Endures is a timeless exploration of humanity, challenging perceptions, and urging viewers to confront their biases, all within the captivating setting of a circus sideshow. Todd Browning, renowned for his work in circuses, is both a clown and a contortionist, drew inspiration from his experiences to craft the film Freaks. Released in 1932, this movie stands as Browning's only on-screen credit, bearing the title Todd Browning's Freaks. Interestingly, after the success of Dracula in 1931, Browning, on loan to Universal, was tasked by MGM's Irving Thalberg to create something to outmatch Frankenstein. Browning was given creative freedom, but Thalberg was unprepared for what he ultimately delivered. This unusual direction set the stage for a film that would challenge societal norms and perceptions of humanity. The 1932 movie Freaks faced challenges from its inception. Despite a disastrous test screening prompting Irving Thalberg to recut the film, the unedited version premiered at the 3,000-seat Fox Theater in San Diego. Ironically, it became a box office hit, drawing crowds eager to witness the uncensored portrayal. As word spread that changes loomed, the theater advertised it as the last opportunity to view the uncut version. The film's journey to success amidst controversy is a testament to its unconventional impact. Directed by Todd Browning, the movie featured a diverse cast, including real carnival performers. Johnny Eck, the half-boy, shared his positive experience during filming, highlighting the camaraderie among the crew. However, behind the scenes, there were tensions. Protests from some members of NGM led to the exclusion of certain cast members from indoor dining, showcasing the discrimination faced by the film's performers. The defiance of norms and societal expectations in Freaks challenged both audiences and the industry. Despite initial setbacks and internal dissent, Browning's vision prevailed, leaving a lasting mark on cinema. The film's journey from controversy to unexpected success reflects its enduring legacy in pushing boundaries and challenging perceptions of humanity. Schlitzie, a cast member in the 1932 movie Freaks, challenged gender perceptions. Despite appearing female, Schlitzie was actually male and wore dresses due to incontinence. This detail about Schlitzie adds a layer to the understanding of the film's cast, 
and the challenges faced by its performers. The portrayal challenges societal norms, echoing the broader theme of defying expectations present in the film. Schlitz's role and the reasoning behind the choice of attire contribute to the nuanced exploration of identity and societal acceptance within the movie. One woman's visceral reaction to Freaks was telling. She wrote a letter to Todd Browning at MGM, exclaiming, You must have the mental equipment of a freak yourself to devise such a picture. This sentiment encapsulates the polarized responses the film evoked. Some were deeply moved by its portrayal of marginalized characters with empathy, while others found it unthinkable to put such individuals before the public eye. This stark divide in opinions highlights the challenging nature of the movie, forcing viewers to confront their own perceptions and biases. The film's ability to provoke such strong reactions speaks to its lasting impact and the societal discomfort it confronted head-on. Prince Randian, a remarkable figure in the 1932 movie Freaks, stood out for his unique demeanor. With no arms or legs, he startled passers-by with sudden, chilling screams while lurking in dark corners. This behavior added an eerie dimension to the set, evoking both fascination and unease among those involved. Despite his physical limitations, Randian's presence was unforgettable. His startling actions contributed to the film's atmosphere, leaving a lasting impression on both the audience and the production itself. The 1932 movie Freaks faced polarized receptions during its premieres in Chicago and Los Angeles. Myrna Loy declined a role, finding the script offensive, while the on-screen romance between Hans and Frieda was subdued due to real-life siblings playing the roles. However, despite bans in some areas, it found success in Cincinnati, Boston, Cleveland, Houston, and Omaha. This varied response mirrored society's discomfort and acceptance, illustrating the film's controversial yet impactful nature. The 1932 movie Freaks had a turbulent journey after its initial release. Notably, after MGM withdrew the film, exploitation roadshow specialist Dwayne Asper acquired its distribution rights. Asper showcased the movie across the country, renaming it as Forbidden Love and Nature's Mistakes. Asper's rebranding aimed to draw attention, taking advantage of the film's controversial nature. Despite being shelved by its original studio, the movie found an audience through these exploitative showings, garnering interest under new titles and prolonging its presence in cinemas. This alternative distribution strategy marked a stark contrast to its initial reception, showcasing how the film's controversial nature sparked varied reactions and alternative means of public exhibition, persisting through unconventional avenues. As our cinematic journey draws to a close, it's time to ponder the enigmatic allure of the 1932 masterpiece, Freaks. This extraordinary film transcends time, inviting us into a world both haunting and compelling, where the concept of normalcy takes on new dimensions. It challenges our perceptions, blurring the lines between acceptance and curiosity, leaving an indelible mark on our understanding of humanity. Reflecting on this cinematic gem might evoke a myriad of emotions and thoughts of fascination, introspection. Perhaps it's the profound sense of empathy it instills or the raw authenticity of its characters that resonate so deeply within us. What resonated most with you in this captivating narrative? Was it the poignant portrayal of diversity, the unexpected beauty found in the unconventional, or the exploration of human frailty and resilience? Your perspective adds depth to the tapestry of interpretations surrounding this timeless classic. We invite you to share your cherished memories, profound insights, or simply your thoughts on this cinematic marvel. Your voice enriches the dialogue, shaping a collective appreciation for the complexities woven into Freaks. Thank you for joining us on this introspective journey through the lens of Freaks. Your engagement and unique perspective are invaluable in celebrating the power of storytelling in film. Until our next cinematic rendezvous, keep exploring, keep pondering, and keep sharing your stories. Farewell for now, and thank you for your time and interest.